My friends, my friends, it has been far too long. Welcome back to more Pokemon Colosseum. In the last episode, we gave chase to Venus. And then she disappeared. And now we have a special key, if I can pull that up here. The main gate key for opening the lab's main gate. But first, I would actually, ah shoot, I probably should do something with that. Let me show you what this U-Disc does while we're here. Because I'm willing to bet that you probably don't know what it does, unless you've played this game before. Obviously it goes up, but what do you think is waiting for us? Can you take that guess? Shoot, I keep forgetting to talk to that guy too. Ugh, so much stuff. All right, so select a UFO. A UFO! Traveled in the upward direction. What's waiting for us? It's all very heart pounding. Also, it just flies up. Okay. And we go into the wind tower. Okay. You ready? Three, two, one. What the frick is a time flu doing all the way up here? I don't understand. And it's just so remote, like, why are they hoarding a time flute up here? It's just kind of weird. It's a weird placement. And, ooh, that's a different angle. I've never seen that before. Alright, let me go back forward, and we're going to talk to that one guy and go into the building over there. An F-disc. And oh, my audio sounds a lot better. I finally invested money and bought a pop filter, so now I don't have to blow the speakers every time I use a p or I forget what it's called, like a poppy sound. I guess because it's pop filter. Bless you. Herbs! Welcome to my... <laughs> Welcome to my dispensary. <laughs> Alright, these are some uh, healing items, but they're bitter. So arguably these, you know, can, you know, 200 point, or 200 HP, 50, and a, basically a full max revive here. But your Pokemon's gonna like you a little less. Which, I don't know why, because um, bitter means sour in my opinion, and sour is, is always good. I love sour things. Sour candy is like my, is where my heart lies, so if, if you love me, you would you will send me Laffy Taffy. But not the banana kind, and if you like the banana kind of Laffy Taffy, you sir are a monster. No, I'm just kidding, I love you. Alright, let's go to the lab. Whoops. To the Shadow Pikmin Lab. By the way, I hope you liked my video for Pikmin Deluxe review. That's what I was working on. I have another video coming out. That's not a Let's Play. I just have so many ideas floating around in this head up here. Use the main gate key. All right. On in. Four, I don't think we can go in here yet. Yeah. The shutter is locked. Okay. So really remote, remote area. But since we can't go in through this area, or that door, let's go through this one. Just listen. The card key. Well, let's go in here. There should be a couple of computers here. We should, this one is supposed to draw your attention. It's the shutter switch. So yeah. Whoops, hang on a minute. Yeah. Switch it. And now you're able to go through that door. And this thing is gonna be your best friend. Let's see. So just to forewarn all of you fine folks. Um, there's gonna be a lot of shadow Pokemon in this area. 
not as much as what's coming, but there is going to be quite a bit. You know, we've gone from having few and far between encounters to a fair amount, I'll say. That's such a, this is such a weird design area. Like, what's the point of this? Like, do you, you're you supposed to stand in here when you're in trouble. Like, this is the corner you stand in when you're a kid. Um, yeah, let's go look down here real quick. And if you'll notice, it's that area that blew up. So this is how they got the Shadow Pokemon to the train to go to the under. And the under they distributed it. Brought it up through the warehouse to the Pyrite Coliseum to be distributed to others. It's all interconnected and it's really cool. Three elixirs! I should heal. All? No, I think it's just 10 PP to every item. I might just be thinking of. Yeah, a lair. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right, I have three rare candies. And I also have a protein that I should probably use on my Entei so I can boost up that uh, return. Let's fight! This is discrimination! Why do they single me out for these extra assignments? There's still packing left to move for the move out of this lab. Ooh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 Who are you? You're suspicious, therefore you must be intruders. Acting kind of sus. Myron. This is going to be no problemo. Well, for Slugma, we might have a little bit of a problem. Um, let's use a sunny day. See if we can't boost up my Fire Blast for whenever I use it. Oh, you s Nice. I didn't think you'd survive from that. But you probably won't survive that, yeah. I had no doubt in my mind. Okay, um... Shoot. I wanna look, cause I kinda like to have all of my Pokemon of equal levels. So I guess we'll send out Croc a little bit. Ah, shoot, but Croc is gonna be nerfed that sunny day. That's fine, I forgot that you learned Slash. It's been a long time since I've played this game. Fire Blast, and we're gonna Slash. Please hit. Nice. So Voltorb's gonna get taken out. It's a big critical hit, beautiful. I'm trying to get Entei up there in the levels just because I feel like we haven't used him as much as the other team members, and I know it's probably because he doesn't have a little teammate to work with, and I'm trying to work on that. Oh, not quite. Just a bit outside, and the sunlight is strong. I'm not gonna waste another fire blast, because that's... I don't, I'm not relying on that. And there you go, still three hearts, unfortunately. I guess we'll just spend the rest of this video dedicated to training up Entei and making him look cool. I'm gonna switch out Slugma, though, for... So just better. What did I do to deserve this? I don't know what to tell you, bro. You suck? Bah! I'll make you regret seeing me. And there's the card key. Oh! That's the card key! That's what I just said! Penny, were you not listening? You silly goob. Alright, yeah, Slugma's gonna be traded out for a Pokemon that can actually hold its own weight against these higher leveled. Pokemon. I also love this music. It's just so jazzy. Oh, pff, you dummy. Alright, Slugma is gonna go. Bye bye. And I just remembered that I don't have a remember read. <laughs> Depression kicks in. Um, 38, 40, 40, 43s. Now. Let's throw in Stantler. 
I think he can help hold her own against everyone. Alright, now you're going to want to also fight every trainer and explore every nook and cranny in this area. This is... Well, I guess you'll see once we get down here. This is the key slot. Or there is a key slot. Use the card key. I wish it would be like, do you want to use the card key? And then you can swipe it. Oh, I thought there was a battle there. Even thinking of XD. But yes, we go down, and the Cypher Lab is a giant labyrinth. I can foresee us seeing the next couple of episodes spent down here exploring every nook and cranny and just showing what it has to offer. So right now, we have three options to go down. Um, I think this one requires a specific key. Yeah, the downstairs key. I don't know why they had to abbreviate that. Which I don't have. And then I think to the right is just plain old locked. Yeah, so we can only go to the left at this current moment in time. Ooh, what is this? A DNA sample. Nice. Okay. And we got to fight. Oh, hey, intruder alert. What do you got for me, Cole? Wait. Is this a normal NPC? Or is this an NPC that has a normal name? Holy crap. It's another Festivus miracle. Entei and Stanler. Yeah. Oh, Stanler's going to have quite some time. And would you look at that, we have a Shadow Pokemon in the form of Apom. I am not capturing Apom because if it, it's just not good. If it had Ambipom available to it, then absolutely, absolutely I would. Turn on Remorade because I don't think it's going to do well. And I know Apom actually has a lower catch rate, so I'm going to want to actually do some more damage to it. I will give Apom that it is very cute though, and you suck. Why did I think that was Hypnosis? And it kind of reminds me of- oh, that does a lot of damage. kind of reminds me of Ash's Apom from the anime. I think he had it in- throughout Hoenn, and then in Diamond and Pearl, in the Sinnoh region, he traded it to Dawn, and Dawn had it become an Ambipom and starting contests because that's just what it wanted to do. I would have loved to have seen a more adult anime of, of Colosseum. What? How did that not do that much? Whatever. Oh, you can tickle me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it tastes ticklish. That's so cute. Ah, crap. No. You weren't supposed to do that. Oh, I'm not expecting it to do much, though, because Remoraid sucks. Yeah. That didn't do much. Even for it being super effective. Shoot. Um, what's the turn calling Stantler? What? You're hearing it. Controllers. What? I don't know what happened, but uh, apparently I, I use a wireless GameCube controller, the WaveBird, and uh, apparently I switched the signal to a different um, little radio s signal. I think it's I think it's what it uses, radio signals. That way you don't have to like directly point it at there. You can like hold it under the desk or anything, and it'll still. Work. I don't know. I think it's one of the best. It was the start of when wireless controllers were good. Because I had a PS2 wireless controller and that sucked. I, I thought it was so cool. I was like, dude, it's wireless and it works. But you had to like directly point it at the little receptor and it, it's, it, it was garbage. I hated it. Granted, it was also, you know, third party. And we know how good third party controllers are nowadays. Actually, they're not as bad as they used to be. I know way back in the day they were terrible. No, they're not so bad. I, have, I had a third-party Switch controller that I used before I got a Pro. Like an official Pro. Wow! That did nothing! Okay, Apom is in snagging range. And how the heck does a... How the heck does a ferret no surf? What? What the heck? 
What is going on? That's weird. That's very weird. Use I'm gonna use fire blast to take him out. I don't. Oh yeah, I'm set on Pokeballs for a long time. I don't have the most high expectance of luck with the Pokeball, but let's give the Great Ball a try. Great Balls of Fire. One. Come on. This game has just not been like giving me any luck with uh, capturing Pokemon on the first try. It normally like normally I can just blaze through the game and just like do a first ball throw and it catches. Nice burn. But I don't know what it is. This one's just like nope. You're not gonna have any luck. I don't like that. Oh, shoot. Sorry, Entei. I tried. I tried so hard. All right. Um. Now it's between Nimbus and Illusion. I think it's Illusion. Yeah. Ugh. The rain stopped. I don't remember there being rain dance, but I also probably wasn't paying attention. Probably checking on the recording or whatever. That's probably why Surf did so much. And why my Fire Blast wasn't working as well either. As much, doing as much damage as it should have. One. I mean, I know Apom has a low catch rate, but come on, man. Toss me a bone! Throw me a bone! Throw me something. Actually, did I get rid of hypnosis on my nightmare? Well, I guess it doesn't matter still because I have cast form to take care of. Crap. Yeah, just take out Statler. Or just go for illusion, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Whatever boats your float. I'm gonna take out cast form pretty easily. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna be stupid and just throw a Pokeball because I have a butt ton of them. Fun fact, if you look it up, a butt ton is an actual, I think it's, it's like a measurement. It was used back in the, like, 15 to 1600s? No way. Are you kidding me? Whatever. This game wants to meme with me. But yes, a butt ton is actually the heaviest form of, of tons out there. Just a fun fact for you all. How did that not take out cast form? It's very disappointing. Also, why do I not? Do I have the cologne case? Have to check that. This battle took a lot longer than it needed to. <laughs> why am I the loser? You're the loser. I can't believe I'm having to use this many items on my Pokemon. I usually do not have this much of trouble. Granted, Colosseum is very limited in what options they have available for you to use as Pokemon, but still. And we go down even further. I think this is the basement floor, though. Um, can I avoid you entirely? I can. So you're Kalen, aren't you? The word is you've been wreaking havoc with our plans. There's something on the table. Corin. An Electrolog and a Megatomite. Nothing's gonna be outspeeding that Electrode, let me tell ya. Yeah, you can lower the attack. Doesn't matter, because both of them are specially offensive. Let's use Fire Blast on Magnemite and just get that 
steal POS out of here. Critical hit. Nice. You'll love to see it. Intent grows to level 41. Wants to learn Stomp. I'm gonna get rid of Stomp. I'm gonna get rid of Bite. He's just more physically offensive. Magneton. So we should be able to get this taken care of within one fell swoop. If Fire Blast does not miss. Thunder missed twice though, so let me have it. Ah! Ah! -ha! Let's not and say we did. Ha! What? Just happened. That's a no bueno situation there. Nimbus! I summon thee to my aid. Fire Blast again, and let's use Dragon Breath. Come on! What are you doing? Doing! What are you doing? It's like the squeaky teen from <laughs> The Simpsons. Aw, oh, sir! What are you doing? Would you like fries with that? Oh, that's painful. That's so painful. Oh, no! I don't like any of that. I don't like that one bit. See, this is why I want to know Flamethrower. PP has been restored. It's probably gonna kill me, so let's let's use another Backstorchon! Speaking of Hyper Potions, I was playing uh, Sun and Moon recently, I think it's when it was introduced, and I had to use a Hyper Potion, and they, no, my god, are you kidding me? They nerfed it to bits. You can only heal about 120 HP with it? That's stupid. Like, thanks, I hate it. I'd much rather have kept, keep that at like, you know, 200 and lower max potion or whatever. Frick. Ugh. Why are you getting so lucky with it now? Holy Hannah. Dude. Oh, thank God. Bright side, your speed is cut in half though, so you're, someone's going down. It's not very effective. His eyes bulge out of his face like an like an early Dragon Ball whenever they got punched in the gut. I'm not gonna show that on screen though because I'm probably gonna go f get flagged for copyright because Toei does that. Come on. Why? You know what? Okay, Nightwing. You can probably I probably should have sent you out first. You can handle anything that's thrown at you. I am Confusion. Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath should hopefully take it down enough to... Maybe not. To where Confusion can take out the majority of it. But again, doubtful. Oh my god. Why is Thunder hitting so much? My Fire Blast is... I'm just getting kicked in the nuts. <laughs> Holy crap. 
Croc probably could have been able to handle this a long time ago. Just using Surf because... Whatever. I wouldn't. I didn't want to in fear of it going down, but that might have been the wrong decision. God damn, why is it doing so bad? Oh, that was an annoying fight. No havoc, please. Foo foo foo, the shadow Pokemon that were made here have been transported out already. Battle all you want, there's no stopping our shadow Pokemon plan now. Bet. And would you look at that, we found the downstairs key. And I think this is gonna be a nice way to end off. Oh, it felt good to play this again. <laughs> it felt so good. Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we're going to continue further into the Shadow Pokemon Lab. See you guys then.